another thing before we get to the bottom of the hour break, because that's coming here in a minute, Don, but I want to do this again. You have night vision. We have a number we can contact yet. What do we have available, and how can we get hold of you, sir? Well, right up front's the phone number. It's 231-796-8458, and we can talk about uh, first-generation gun sight, 308 capable. You've heard it before, you guys. If not, hey, it's 308 capable. It's warrantied for two years. It'll grab onto your Picatinny or your Weaver rail. Uh, we could talk about that first-generation viewer right in your mailbox for 285. Manufacturer wants three and a quarter for it. It floats. Drop it in the water. You won't have to go diving to retrieve it. It floats. Uh, 2.5 power or 2.8. One or the other, I, I don't exactly remember, but call it two and a half power. Write in your mailbox for $285. Again, the, the guys that uh, manufactured, they want three and a quarter for it. You call them up, the guys with the 800 number. My number is 231 796 8458. We can talk about a second generation gun sight right in your mailbox for 1340 right in your mailbox for 1340 the manufacturer is going to get more than that they're going to get delivery too they're going to put you up almost to 1450 so uh, again you know I, I do my best for you you guys that's you know if you put that on top of your 22 that's a, a number of bricks of 22 isn't it okay uh, hey the number is 231-796-8458 if you want to talk about thermal we don't have to talk about green screen we can talk about FLIR well, you know, when you hold it in your hand, you don't necessarily have to call it FLIR because that's like forward-looking infrared. We're going to go to break, though. We'll be right back, you guys. Actually, no, we weren't supposed to be going that early, and I'm not sure why it's playing. And I'm not even sure where it's playing it at, Don. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I put Sorry something in done. the machine, and uh, I haven't tried to use this machine to play anything yet. It just auto-played it in some player that I can't find. By the way, uh, we did have another uh, song come in to, uh, for our friend out in California listening. Uh, we got here in good time, and the uh, authorization to use uh, the music, uh, Ed, is in the envelope with the CD. Yeah, I haven't picked that one up yet. This is negative offset. And so, go ahead, Don. Uh, your number? Well, let's well, try this again. Break. Hooray. <laughs> we'll go to break real quick and then come back, because it's trying to play on its own.
All right. Well, that was different. <laughs> that was Negative Offset, one of the bands that sent in music for us. The name of that song was El Ciaeda. Uh, in fact, I think that was about the only lyrics in the song that I was able to clearly make out. <laughs> but I figured, heck, we got them. Uh, we got their music. We'll play it live for the first time on the air here. So there you go. <laughs> hey, it was better than Louie Louie. Yeah. And, again, remember, it's another band that's doing Pedro music. So yep. there we go. And real quick, their website is negativeoffset.com. You can go there and check that out. Uh, we'll make a note that some of the tracks on here do have parental advisory. I was careful to pick one that didn't. And Thank you. They're very good. So, again, uh, for all of our friends listening, don't forget, uh, it is Friday, by the way. It's Cinco de Amo Day. And uh, if you need music, especially stopping music, well, then there's the option right there. Uh, it depends. That may be the last thing the bad guys hear. It would really be kind of poetic justice, wouldn't it? <laughs> do, 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 do. Because in between that, you're thumping on them, you know, beating them down, you know, doing to them what they plan on doing to everybody else. Uh, an interesting series. I left a bunch of comments.